Hi everyone, it's Paulette Contessi here from the Contessi Group and every month I bring you the Wembley Downs Report and we talk about property, things that happen in our suburb, what's happening in our suburb and we'll jump in the car and have a drive around and look at some notable properties. So right now what we'll do is have a look at our statistics compared to the rest of the metropolitan area. So firstly, let's look at our median house price. So our median house price currently sits at $1,355,000. So that's actually up $200,000 from just before the pandemic, where it was sort of sitting in the high 1.1 millions. So secondly, we'll talk about days on market. So when things were flying off the shelf, days on market was around 21 days. It's now 32 days. Now that's still great. It's a month on the market, which is still better than the average of Perth, which is around 63 days. So for finally is the 12 month growth. So the last 12 months, it's still been fantastic. It's 18.4% and our high, was around 28% during the crazy days of the pandemic. So what I wanna show you now is the most expensive property that's ever sold in Wembley Downs. And so we'll jump in the car and have a look at it. Then I'll show you a few other notable properties and then we'll talk about what's happening in Wembley Downs in October. Okay, now we're in the car, we're gonna head down Hale Road and I'm gonna take you to the highest selling house in Downs. I was lucky enough to go to the grand opening of this home. It is um, on Calais Road and it was built by Vassage Homes and they're um, based in City Beach. Um, the home is a six bedroom, four bathroom property and it was absolutely stunning. It was extremely unique loads of concrete, loads of polished concrete and wood and set over three levels. And it sold in October 2021 for $2,850,000. And right now, that is the highest selling property in Wembley Downs. So let's have a quick sneak peek and we'll have a drive by. While I'm on Calais Road, I'm going to indulge a little bit and I'm going to show you two properties that I've sold in the last year. One sold back in November last year and one sold just now, it's about to settle. So they are 115A and B Calais Road. They were built back in 2016 by the lovely Peter and Denise, who are also Wembley Downs residents. These properties were built specifically with downsizers in mind. So they're over three levels. They have a lift that services each level. And back in November last year, one of those sold, so the one on the north side sold to uh, City Beach Downsizers for 1,645,000. And not eight months later, the one next door, the mirror image sold for 1,685,000. Now I'm gonna do a UE here and we're gonna to head to the properties now and you can see what they look like. So while I was putting this video together, I was thinking, what is our landmark? What is Wembley Downs landmark? Um, would it be the Downs Shopping Centre? Would it be Hale School? Why don't you guys let me know what you think our landmark is? and then I can do some research on it and add it to the video next week. So, is this our landmark? Is the Down Shopping Centre our landmark? Let me know. Okay, so that's Wembley Downs for this report. Let's head back to the office. Okay, we're back in the office now and I didn't kill anyone. So let's talk about the Wembley Downs District Fair. It's on this October, on the 29th of October. It's a Saturday, 8.30 a.m. And it's our favorite event of the year. There's the schools, choirs, and there's all of the stalls. So make your way down there, bump into your neighbors and into old friends that you haven't seen for a while. Next month, 
We're going to do it again, look at some properties, find maybe um, a favorite street. So I do have a favorite street in mind. And then what I am also going to do is talk about our primary schools, Kapanara Primary School and Wimby Downs Primary School. And like I said during the video, what is our landmark? Can you pick it? Do we have a landmark? City Beach has the tower. What do we have? Let me know. Bye.